So I have my client Chestiny right here and we're gonna do some anthropometry or some girth measurements. And I've got a, a retractable circumference tape right here that provides the same amount of tension um, as I retract the tape. And then I also have a tailor's tape that I like to use. And I also like to use a whiteboard marker when I do this assessment. So this assessment has value for, um, for show athletes with bodybuilding, if they're trying to measure musculature, and also it has some value for people who are interested in weight loss, where they're wanting to see reduction in inches in various parts of the body where we're gonna be taking these measurements. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my retractable, uh, retractable circumference tape, and I'm gonna go around the shoulders, chest and shoulders here, and I'm looking for the widest area of the deltoids right here. So I'm going to be taking a look to make sure the tape is parallel with the ground. There we go. And then I'll take and record that measurement to the nearest half inch. Then I'm going to go ahead and have Chestiny raise her arms, go ahead and touch her head. I'm going to take this chest measurement. So I'm going to be putting the tape kind of in her, under, uh, her, her armpits there. And then I'm going to retract the tape so there's tension on the tape and then have her go ahead and relax her arms at her sides. Make sure that the tape is retracting and parallel with the floor. And then I'm going to record that measurement. Go ahead and put your hands on your head again, chest and knee. And then I'm going to go and I'm going to do the waist measurement. So go ahead and lift up your shirt just a bit, chest and knee right here. And I'm taking this measurement between the xiphoid process and just above the umbilicus. I'm looking for the thinnest part of the waist or the hourglass of the waist. Want to make sure that there's no fabric taken in this measurement and that the tape is parallel with the floor. I'll record that measurement there. And then I'm going to go down just a little bit more and take the abdominal measurement where I'm going over top of the umbilicus or belly button. Again, making sure that my tape parallel with the floor, record that site. And then I'm gonna go and do the hip measurement or otherwise known as the booty measurement. And I'm looking for the largest area right here for the hip. I'm going to record that measurement right there. And then while I'm down here, I'm going to go ahead and use my tailor's tape and have Chestiny just go ahead and lift her leg and put her finger right in the crease between her hip and her thigh right there. And I'm going to have her hold that tape right there. And then I'm going to have her go ahead and push and put her leg down on the ground. I'm going to be taking that the the middle of uh, my measurement at the middle of the patella right here and then I'm going to divide that measurement in half. So I'm going to be marking her leg right at halfway between this measurement. Then, thank you Chestiny. I'm going to use my circumference tape. This is one of the more difficult measurements to take accurately. So it's very important because the leg is not straight. It's, it's tapered all the way down to the knee. You want to make sure that the front, that the tape is straight at the back as well as the front. It's, at, it's level. So I'm going to go ahead and record that measurement right there. Then while I'm here, I'm going to go ahead and take the calf measurement. And that's going to be the largest surface area that I can get on the calf. Once I'm finished there, I'm going to go ahead and do the arm. And um, if you're doing a show athlete, sometimes the show athlete will like to flex on the arm and we're taking the biggest surface area around the bicep right there. Or you could just have them relax. Sometimes people like to hold their arms out and you can take the biggest surface area while they're holding the arms out. However they want to do that, you're looking for repeatability between pre and post assessments. So you want to do it the same way both times. And you're looking for the largest surface area 
of the biceps brachii. ACSM also has in their textbook that you can measure the forearm. Again, same standards apply, largest surface area of the forearm. And there we have our girth, girth measurements.